This tutorial is designed to show you how to export and import in Blackboard 9. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to export a course and talk about the reason why you do that, then archiving a course, and then importing a course that you had already exported to a new course. So the first thing you're going to do is to go into the course that you want to export. Now if all you want to do is copy this to another course, you would probably use, if you wanted to copy all this content to another course, you'd probably click on Packages and Utilities and use the Course Copy function. The export might be if I'm bringing my course from one server to another server, or if I want to keep, um, I know I'm not going to teach the course for a while, so I want to keep it um, saved on my desktop or in a content area. So I'm going to click on Export Course, and what I'm going to do is click on Export. And what this allows me to do is it's going to keep a copy of all the content inside this course. So I probably would want to export my content areas, um, maybe my blogs and wikis, um, definitely the discussion board, my grade center items and columns so I don't have to create those when I import it again, and probably my tests and my surveys and pools. Those are probably the most common. And then all you do is hit submit. And what Blackboard does is it packages this file into a zip folder. Now, most likely when you do this, you're, you won't have it instantaneously pop up here. I did this a, a few minutes ago so that I didn't have to wait for it. But if this was a bigger course, this might take a little bit of time. I would get an email um, saying that this was done, though. So once I come back into this course after I receive that email, I click on this, and it, I'm going to save this file to my desktop. Now I have my course, all the content packaged in a zip file that I can import into another course. Now, if you wanted to archive your course, what that does is that actually keeps a copy of all the student interactions, so the grades and the discussion board items as well. Okay. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is I want to show you how to import this package that we just exported. So maybe a few semesters have gone by and now I'm going to teach this course again. I'm going to go into my new course. I'm going to go down to Packages and Utilities, and this time, rather than exporting, I'm going to import the package. And I'm going to click on Import Package. I need to find this file, so I click Browse, and I can find the file that I just exported. And then I need to bring in the specific areas. So I want to bring in my content areas, my discussion board, my grade center items, and my tests and surveys. And again, you can select which ones you'd want to bring in. Maybe you want to create all new discussion boards so you wouldn't click this one. And then you just hit submit. And you have to go and you have to wait depending on how big this package that you're importing it is. If it's large, it's going to take a little bit longer. And so once this is done, you should have the new items in your um, menu when you're done, and all the files should be there. So thanks for watching this tutorial.